Dylan Brooks had a lot to say mm -hmm. about <laughs> LeBron, and I think he's already regretting some of the things that mm -hmm. uh, he has spoken uh, to Mr. James over there on the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> How much uh, of that trash talking do you think affects the team? Like, I know you've been on a couple teams with Lance mm -hmm. Stevenson, and how do you kind of handle that, like, as a teammate of someone that's talking yeah. and kind of poking the bear? It's a, it, it, being an agitator is like a slippery slope. Like, <laughs> yeah. No bullshit, because, like, you talking shit to somebody that controls the game. Right. Brian controls the game. And you're Dylan Brooks, like, you don't get 20 shots a night. You don't get 25 shots a night. Like, Brian does. Like, you don't, you don't think he's going to hit shots. You don't think he's going to make shots. Like, he's going to play well. Like, <laughs> right. And it's a slippery slope for that reason alone. Like, you're trying to match up with somebody that's going to get wet. That's like having a shootout and you got three bullets to my 25 bullets. Like, who you, who's going to win? You better get some uh, good ass. Yeah, your yeah. aim better be fucking impeccable. <laughs> did y'all see that? Did y'all see the accolades they posted? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was sick. They did him wrong on that. that, but, that was, I mean, that, that's, <laughs> that's what he get. That's literally what it is. Like, in a regular season, it works because you're not going to – like, you're – in in the playoffs, you got to see him max seven times. Constantly. Like you're gonna have to see him, and again to that to that uh, analogy of of three bullets to twenty five bullets. Right. Like you you better be on with it. Like you're gonna have to stop him on a nightly basis. Uh, and then again, like how you seen with the, the the media getting involved with it now? Now he's he's hearing that noise, bro. You can't tell me he's not hearing that noise. He's not like oh, you see, he has kids. Yeah, they showing came him. out right. like why does why does everyone you know paint me out to be the villain now? I'm like, bro, stop. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. Like how LeBron yeah. handles you, it though. He never says nothing. He handles it like the king. He keeps it professional. He just, keeps ah, it on the court. Ah, he but, go crazy. But again, when you comparing the two, like why the fuck would Bron answer to? Dylan Brooks. Yeah. Exactly. Who are you? Who are point? you? Like, what have you done? Like, right. why, why, like, yeah, why am I even having this with you? Right. Like, right. Prove yourself first. Waste of time. So, yeah, it's, it's, you know, when Lance did it uh, to Braun. <laughs> what was that locker room like after that? <laughs> it was, <sighs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Originally, I was like, uh, why? <laughs> like, why you do that? Because <laughs> I'm guarding them. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the reason Lance had the reason Lance was on Braun for those moments because I was in foul trouble. But mm. for the series, I'm guarding Braun. So, like, bro, <laughs> take it all out. Yeah, you. like, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> um, but I thought I thought it raised like it, it. It I thought it it drew to our intensity of like we not backing down to y'all. We we you know we I thought we stood behind Lance. After he did that, opposed to like you know getting on him about it or breaking up about it, I thought we we backed him up and uh, it, it made for us to just raise the intensity. Did LeBron say anything about like hey like my bad bro like like he should have not blown in your ear anything <laughs> nah, like that like nah, that shit was like ever... unspoken bro that shit was unspoken <laughs> nobody said anything about it we didn't even, like I mean Lance did shit all season like and he did he do shit in practice to try to get under your skin like. We knew that was Lance, but like literally, like we that shit came out of left field when it happened. Can we get Lance back in the league? Man, we need, <laughs> please. Man, I'm more ready. Shout yeah, out more ready. Man. So excited. More he's ready. Sick, bro. Like, Dribbles. He does fast. He passes. <laughs> he shooting. When the coach tell him don't shoot, he go shoot it anyway. Jackie, it's time to check in on our prize picks. Yeah, Dallas. It's playoff time, man. It's getting real serious right now. I'm trying to pick. Yep. I just won big thanks to Jimmy Butler and Gabe Vincent beating their projections. How'd you do? First of all, the people don't even know what we're talking about. Let them know what Prize Picks is, man. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you pick two to six players like the video on your screen, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projection. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. So, Jackie. How'd you win? All I did was place the entry on Anthony Davis to score more points than he was projected to get. And Austin Reeves scored more points than he was projected to get. And at the end of the day, guess what? I know how much money I won. But Dallas, tell the people how much money they can win. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code, PodcastP, will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means 
If you deposit $20, Prize Picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks will give you $100. Cha-ching! Cha-ching. <laughs> 